All right, in this video, we are going to add the sprites for our first question. So we wanna make sure first things first, we come down here where it says sprites and we are going to create a new one. So I'm gonna choose paint new sprite. And because this is gonna be text, I wanna to convert to vector. So vector allows us to edit it easier later. If it were bitmap, it would be more like a set image that we couldn't really change. So I'm gonna click convert to vector down here in the bottom right hand corner. And notice I get my tools, my vector tools over here on the far right side. And I'm gonna just choose text and I'm gonna come in here and type, oops, I'm on a green color. Let me go ahead and change that to black. You should probably be on black. I was playing with mine a little bit earlier. So uh, that's why it was green. So question one, and I'm gonna also come down here and just put in parentheses, ask question one. I'm not going, going ahead and actually filling in questions right now because I wanna leave it like a blank slate so that people can fill in their own questions for their own different needs and purposes. If I were to actually do the questions, it might not let you think about um, some other ways that you could do this. So I'm gonna keep it very generic so that it applies to a lot of different subject areas, a lot of different situations. So I'm gonna come over here on my stage and I'm gonna just drag this sprite, click and drag about here, kind of at the center towards the top. And then I'm gonna rename my sprite by clicking, right clicking on it down here in the sprite list, choosing info. And I'm just gonna call this questions. And yes, that's questions with an S because we're actually gonna add our other questions as costume changes, but we don't need to worry about that right now. For this first costume, I'm just gonna come up here and rename this um, question one, okay? So that's it for the question part, but now we need to create sprites for the answer choices. So this one will require three different sprites. So we're gonna have three different answer choices. So first things first, I'm gonna actually um, choose something from a library. I'm interested in this ball right here. So I'm gonna choose ball and choose okay. And it's gonna actually be uh, like a circle button is what I'm trying to do instead of having it actually be a ball. If I click under costumes, notice I have different color balls. That's awesome. Uh, I only need one color though for this one. So I'm gonna leave the yellow one selected and I'm gonna delete the extra costumes. And the next thing I'm gonna do is click on the ball and I'm gonna drag the corner and I'm gonna do the corner so it doesn't distort the proportions. If I were to drag it somewhere else, it would be kind of an odd shape. So when I do the corners, any of the corners, it allows us to click and drag, oops, um, so that it's scaled correctly, okay? So that's a little bit bigger than I want it, so I'm gonna bring it back down just a little bit. And now I'm gonna write some text over top of it. So for this one, um, I just click the T for text, and then I make sure my text color is like I want. So in this case, it's gonna be black. And I'm gonna just come here and write choice A. And I can come here uh, click on this and use the arrow again to make the text just a little bit smaller. To move the text on the button, I can choose my arrow, select button up here, and then just grab that and move that to about the center of the bulb. All right, so now this is like I want it. Let's go ahead and call this, I'm gonna call it Q1A, that means question one, choice A. And I'm gonna move it on the stage, click and drag to about right here where I want it. And the last thing I'm gonna do for this one is to right click down in the sprite list and choose info. And I'm gonna name this the same thing as I named the costume Q1A. And all that is is the first question. This is answer choice A. And now I need to make two more. So instead of starting from scratch, I can actually just right click on this one and choose, do, choose duplicate. So I'm gonna do that twice, so I have two more answer choices. And I can drag these where I want them. I'm actually gonna bring them all down just a little bit. Okay, 
So clearly they're not all choice A. We need a choice B and a choice C as well. We may also want to change the colors. That would be kind of fun. So for each of these, I'm going to click on it. And because it's a vector graphic, it'll be easy to edit. So instead of choice A, this one's going to be choice B. And I just double clicked to edit that text. And then if I want to change the color of the ball, I can choose this paint bucket tool right here where it says color a shape. If I hover my mouse over it, I'm going to color it. And I'm going to pick a color. Oh, let's just pick like a pink color or something and click over that. And that changed it. Whoops. So I have um, these two switched. So let me just do this right here. Not a big deal. And that one's done. Now for our last one, we do the same thing. We can change this to choice C by double clicking on that text. I'm going to choose the paint bucket tool and for this one I'll do like a green color and come in here and change that to be green and I want to make sure I name everything appropriately it's just good practice and it also comes in handy when it's time to add the code so instead of uh, Q1A up here I'm just going to do Q1C and then I'm going to name this down here the same thing Q1C and now I need to do answer choice B. So I'm going to call this one Q1B for the costume. And I am also going to right click choose info and change this one to Q1B as well. And so that's it. So I've got my question. I've got each of my three answer choices here. Uh, in the next video, we're going to add code so that we can actually do something with our question and our answer choices. See you in the next video.